of this, some of this, <coughs> and blue. <laughs> there. Well, that kills that wrinkle. <laughs> Yeah, I look 20 years younger. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's a crack in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> had me fooled there for a minute. I'm worried, you know. Come in. Oh, excuse me, I was looking for Mr. Benny. Giselle! It's me! Hey, Jack. Oh, why, Jack? Do you know I didn't recognize you? I mean, <laughs> you look wonderful. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> what a great makeup job. Look, at it. it takes more than makeup. You have to have something to start with. <laughs> oh, Jack, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I, I kind of meant it as a compliment. Well, I've had insults that I've enjoyed more. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about it. I'm nervous today. Why? Well, this is the first time in my life I've ever appeared in a nightclub. But, I mean, you've been in this business so long. I mean, you're the dean of the old timers. <laughs> there you go with my age again. I am not the dean of the old timers. There's Ed Wynn, Eddie Cantor, Jimmy Durante. They're just as dean as I am. In fact, some of them are a couple of years deaner. Oh, Jack, don't get upset. I mean, I, I'm just so surprised that you're affected by all this. I mean, after all the success you've had in radio and television. I know, but gee, in radio and television, you know, if they don't like me there, all they can do is send me a, send me a nasty letter. Gee, here in a supper club, you know, if I'm lousy, they can reach out and stab me. <laughs> Forks and knives. Well, if you feel that way, why don't you take the job in the first place? I've asked myself that a thousand times, and I always come up with the same answer. Money. Yes. <laughs> only that, just that. There's, you know, there's uh, Al Parvin and Abe Schiller, the fellas that run the Flamingo, and they kept begging me to play there all the time, and then finally they flashed a lot of money in front of me, and then, you know, like a sentimental old fool, I signed the contract. Well, how much sentiment did they flash at you? <laughs> well, enough so that it made me nervous if I didn't take it. <laughs> now that I took it, I'm nervous again. Oh, don't worry, it's Jack. It's a vicious circle. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I talk now? <laughs> See, since, you, since you've been a success, you won't <laughs> shut up. Don't, don't worry, Jack. Don't what? You'll be you'll be a great hit. In fact, you'll be a smash. Oh, I guess so. I mean, after all, why should I change all of a sudden? Stop <laughs> spitting on me. <laughs> What's that long wrinkle in your cheek? That's a crack in the mirror. <laughs> Gee, it isn't there anymore. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go finish dressing, okay? Right. See you later. <laughs> hey! They put a slot machine in your dressing room. Yeah, they have them all over. Have you got a nickel? Yes, but I left it home. I got three oranges and it didn't pay off. <laughs> well, they're not going to get away.
away with this, I'm going to go and complain to the manager. Oh, wait a minute, Giselle. Pull that hard enough. The oranges, though, eh? <laughs> oh, oranges Yes, you're lucky Sometimes just the juice comes out <laughs> See you later Okay What a fuss she makes over a nickel And now, ladies and gentlemen the fabulous Flamingo proudly presents our lovely singing star, Miss Giselle McKenzie. Chances are, cause I wear a funny grin the moment that you come in view. Are you think that I'm in love with you? Just because my composure sort of slips the moment that your lips meet mine. Chances are you think my heart. Your Valentine in the magic of moonlight. When I say, hold me close, dear, chances are you believe the stars that fill the sky are in my arms. Yes, you. You'll always be the one and only one for me. And if you think you could, well, chances are, your chances are awfully good. And if you think you could, well, chances are, your chances are, are please go. Well, chances are, your chances are, are please. You know, you really warmed him up for me. I'm going out there now and tell him. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Mr. Benny. You can't go on now. This girl's too big a hit. Look, Miss McKenzie, you'd better go out and do your encore. But, but, but the audience is waiting for Mr. Benny. Yeah, they're waiting for me. <laughs> they're hollering Giselle. That's French for Jack. <laughs> I'll go out there and murder him now. Let's go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we take great pride in presenting the star of our show, that Dean of Comedians, Dean again, <laughs> Jack Benny. <laughs> what 
funny thing happened to me on the way to the studio. <laughs> she made me so mad, I'm not going to tell her. <laughs> Instead of that, I'm going to play a violin solo. Chartist by Mondi. <laughs> Give me A. That's close enough. <laughs> wonderful Jack Benny for being so great tonight. Be sure and tune in next week because our guest will be Eddie Fisher. The Giselle McKenzie Show has been brought to you by Schick. First in electric shaving. Next week's show will be brought to you by Scott Paper Company. many. Let yours be the hand that helps. Give the united way. Stay tuned to What's It For, which will follow immediately on most of these stations.